All right, March is over already. Um, and here's my monthly summary, monthly update. I'm gonna talk a little bit about my coaching business and what's happening there. Um, a new really exciting project that I'm gonna start. Um, relationships and then what is happening with the growth plane which is the separate brand that I'm building up with a few friends um, yeah so let's start with the coaching business so the last few weeks have been really interesting because I'm in this transition phase this is what it feels like um, I'm gonna continue coaching that is certain but um, who do I want to work with what is most exciting to me? I love to help all kinds of people, you know, um, someone who wants to change something in their life and who has a commitment, that's amazing. It's really fulfilling, it's beautiful. At the same time, when I'm in the client creation process, I need to reach out to people, I'm like, who do I reach out to, right? And my guideline in a way was, was basically how can I have the biggest impact on this planet? Who do I need to work with and help them in their life, in their relationships, in their businesses that then as a ripple effect increases the contribution that I make? So the first thought that I had or the first um, belief, mindset was, okay, I want to work with entrepreneurs who have like, you know, a positive impact, um, a mission, uh, maybe something sustainable, and I did research, I found a lot of sustainable clothing, slow fashion, um, slow food, fair trade products, and I stand behind all of those different things, but it didn't really inspire me. And then what happened then, actually the last week I think, yeah, it was, so, I went to this, um, okay, that was the second part. I went to an event from Seeds, which is like a cryptocurrency that um, rewards people who, when they pay for regenerative services or products that are regenerating our planet. But even before that, I talked to um, a guy, a startup founder, and I realized, yeah, you know, what I really love is startups and high tech like I love modern technology I'm also quite like we need to be careful what technology we introduce into our lives and being in nature and that kind of stuff is really important but technology is fascinating to me what we can do nowadays with artificial intelligence virtual reality 3d printing drones robotics nanobots like this is really cool stuff mm. So then I came to the conclusion that my ideal coaching client would be someone who is um, a visionary, someone who founded a company, a startup, and uses state-of-the-art technology or, or researches technology to then help humanity or help the planet. So that's a quite new insight and now I'm going to... Um, try to connect with those kind of people and approach it like I did before with a um, mindset of service, you know, helping first and then putting, putting myself out there and then seeing who wants to really step up um, their life, their business and get into a longer term coaching relationship. This is also why, I'm, why I decided to just put on this shirt that I bought a few days ago because I'm thinking about maybe um, you know, updating my website, having a little bit more professional look um, on LinkedIn, maybe taking some photos. The question is, I, I do want to be authentic and not kind of, you know, wear a shirt only because I think people expect it or something like that. But yeah, we'll see. <laughs> All right. Um, so then last month I really went deep into coaching techniques and coaching books again to really hone my skill and always keep improving. Um, that was great, really amazing. Um, and kind of part of that is the work of Dr. Joe Dispenza, which is work that is 
universally um, appliable, is that a word? For someone who wants to transform themselves, transform their life, manifest their dreams. Um, and my goal is, because this really speaks to me, he's combining um, you know, a lot of scientific research from epigenetics, quantum physics, um, neuroscience to explain how that all works and I really want to fully understand it so that I can explain it to someone in a perfect way and I have, um, we did a retreat, a little self-organized Dr. Joe Dispenza retreat a group of eight people dove deeper into his work that really motivated me, motivated me again to do his meditations every single morning Mm. Yeah, so that's great. That's uh, a super, super valuable kind of tool toolkit and, and knowledge that I can also use as a coach to help other people. And the next thing, next thing I want to share with you is is this project, and that is actually connected to um, the coaching a little bit specifically to mindset. So I had this idea that it would be really valuable to collect, to first explore research and then collect um, the belief systems that really successful um, impact driven entrepreneurs have and put them all together so that if someone wants to do some similar work you know meaning they want to have um, they want to create a company a business that is changing uh, the future and having a positive impact on our future you know like if someone wants to do that they need to think in a similar way to someone who's already doing it because what we think what we believe shapes um, or inf not influence creates our emotions and our emotional state influences greatly what actions we take and what actions we take they um, lead to a certain result so the idea is you know a little bit like Neo in the Matrix when he needs to learn to fly a helicopter I think it is he just downloads basically all this knowledge and not only the knowledge but um, it's in his system you know he knows the moves and he can just do it we can't do it as quickly as, as that but if I'm able to interview um, 10, 15 of those entrepreneurs and get to explore to them how do they see life, how do they see technology, how do they see the future, um, competition, money, spirituality, like all those different things, productivity, self-care, then um, collecting those different perspectives and presenting them as a form of like here this is this is your download if you want to become um, an entrepreneur who's shaping the future of this planet and of humanity mm, yeah so it might might become like a book or something after I've done all those interviews um, that's what I'm gonna focus on in the next few weeks to reach out to those people and um, tell them about my plan my vision um, at the same time, also to provide more value for them, for, for um, you know, connecting with me. Um, I can organize like a, a mastermind kind of thing where I connect all those entrepreneurs, you know, so they can go into exchange and maybe see how their um, businesses can support each other and yeah, connect with kind of like-minded entrepreneurs because being an entrepreneur can be very lonely. Um, so yeah, that's that. Next topic, relationships. Mm. A few weeks ago, maybe only three, maybe four, three weeks ago, yeah, I don't know. I met this Indonesian woman and very intense in a short amount of time. Um, and what I've realized is I'm getting really good at navigating and communicating and relationships um, because we had like not an easy situation that I think in a lot of cases would 
have led to drama or like just not cool things. Um, and basically what it was is came together, had a really strong sexual connection and it's amazing. And then we kind of were like, do we go into a relationship or not? What is this? And I realized no, it's it's not it, you know, like something is is just not a perfect match to I couldn't see her as a long term partner. And she didn't want to get hurt, so we were we were in this back and forth and through just being very caring for each other and communicating um, yeah we are like you know we're still seeing each other but everything is said we're completely transparent and it feels amazing it feels really good to have that level of maturity I think in handling relationship dynamics cool yeah that's that's that and then the last point the growth plane, um, as you can see, there's a green screen now behind me. Um, we are getting ready for some serious <laughs> video production. I'm actually gonna order one or two more lights um, because only with one ring light, the quality is not exactly as we want it to be. Um, yeah, so that's moving forward kind of steadily but slowly because we're only having one call a week and then everyone is having their own businesses um, in the meantime so but yeah we're making progress and I'm excited it feels really good we had a great call yesterday um, yes that is basically the summary of the last month um, also I went on the weekend to Siedemann a beautiful area here in Bali it was so great yeah I want to do that more often get away on the weekend um, Make, make some videos. Of, oh, I realized I want to be more creative with videos and just film cool stuff. I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna um, really implement that into my life. I think I mentioned it last month already, but yeah, it's just it's such a joy for me to film cool things and then look at the videos and they're like, wow, this looks so cool. Yes, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. See you in the next video, <laughs> whatever that will be. Um, oh, one point I forgot. I heard about from Lisa Koshi. She's this super successful, amazing person um, that she's doing video journaling. So it's a little bit like what I'm doing here, but but not really because um, like basically daily journaling. You know that I'm using my my journal for. Um, a lot of the younger generation, we're not really used to handwriting so much and video form is, is quite amazing. So what I did, I started my own Facebook group with only me in it. So I can live stream the videos from my computer or my phone directly into the Facebook group. So I don't need a lot of storage because I'm making a five minute video every day. And it's captured in the cloud. Thank you, Facebook. <laughs> um, I'm trusting that yeah, this is safe there. No one will see it because it's very intimate and personal stuff that I'm sharing. So I'm gonna try that for a while to write less by hand my, my thoughts, my ideas, my fears, my um, challenges but speaking them into a camera every single day and have that as my journal practice. Beautiful. Um, yeah, if you have anything to say because of this video, any question, feel free to write a comment and um, yeah, I'm gonna get to work now actually. It's 12 p.m. and I want to make this a productive day. So, 